www.newdeboss.com. This is again Ty. Uh, this video that I'm creating right now is still a part of the video tutorial series that we've created, or we are still creating, about Adobe Audition CS6 on the tools, the utilities, the functions that you can make use of in order for you to create or output uh, a quality audio recording. And before you start off with everything, if you don't know how to set up your Adobe Audition CS6 yet, uh, setting it up with hardware uh, and also with the interface, you might want to work on that first so you have uh, a good working environment, so to say, with regards to your software. When you're working on software, you use more uh, your eyes. So you might want to have the color scheme matched with your eye preference. So everything would be cool, everything would be uh, smoothly flowing while you're working on something. What I would like to share to you right now is simply just to change the color scheme of your Adobe Audition CS6 to match your visual preference. So again, as I've mentioned, everything would go smoothly and not strain your eyes that much. So what you do first is open your Adobe Audition CS6. And from there, um, Sometimes you really don't get to a default right here if somebody would install that for you. But if you did, you probably would fall into a default page, uh, I would say, waveform right here with this deep gray that you have. So what you want to do, if you would want something that's a bit lighter, uh, if let me just take on recording right here first. If you know how to do basic recording, do add effects, you can check that out from the list of videos that we have. You could get it learned now from there. So let's just try, uh, let's say, test record and click on OK. Now, if you talk while you're actually talking, you get all those green waveform and then those green grid right there and then this grayish uh, scheme or color scheme. For me, this works OK, but sometimes it might be a little bit tiring for some others. They really don't like to be working on something that's a little dark, so they might want to change that. Also, you might want to change the color of the waveform. All the elements here can actually be changed with the colors. So, what you do is you go to uh, Edit right here, right on top, and go straight down to Preferences, and go to Appearance. Yeah, let me repeat that back. Edit, Preferences, go to Appearance right here. Click on that, and you'd be taken to something that says appearance right directly in there. Let's say appearance there. You got presets already. If you would notice, uh, let me just bring it back. Say waveform foreground. This was the green. Let me repeat recording again. Low sound check. Take a look at that. That was the green one earlier. So what you do, you go back and go to preferences, go to appearance. See, it's matching this green to that green. So what you do to test that it's actually changing, I want to change that to like this. All right. Or if you're a bit uh, into something that's a bit luminous, you can use green. You can use neon. You could use this blue right here, sort of like a gaming color blue. All right. So uh, that's how you change it. Basically, you just click on OK because I didn't. That's you how I mean that's a way in you know, how you can do everything manual. You can change the waveform background right here. There you go. And you can also use uh change the playhead, which is the, the one that you're using right here. Here. Take a look at that. The, the yellow bar right now, and it turns out to to red. That's let me just click on OK so that I can show you. This is your playhead. Alright. And uh, again you could just manage to to change all those in there but if you're not much into customizing because you're trying to do um, oh sorry I didn't mention this here is something that you could use to brighten up the panels that you have but again if you just would want to use um, presets to make everything really fast you let me bring this here so you can see the waveform you got default right here this is the base or the standard that's that popped in earlier. We're using right now. You got Adobe Gray. This is one with the deeper gray. You got this was my favorite actually before, but 
uh, it turned out to be sort of like uh, too light. Then there's one another that says stealth. This is too. Uh, this too is okay. Got uh, freeze. Got midnight blues and got easy on ice. This right here, midnight blues and Adobe Gray is the one I. I mean, those two are the most. I mean, common that I use. When I'm a bit tired with the color for for this, uh, it's it's trying to ice because of too much recording that I'm working on. You might want to change that to midnight blues. See that? Uh, you got your playhead right here, a bit different. You got your waveform, also a different form color. All right. So again, that's just how you change the appearance. Go to edit, go to preferences, and go to appearance right there. If you want to use gradients, you can. If if you don't want to use, you know, just flat it to matte, and um, that's about it. You get trash. You can create presets. I mean, so you can use the presets, and you can create your own from here. Okay, the purpose is to uh, somehow change the scheme so you don't always work on the same color scheme. So your eyes would freshen up a bit if you're much into audio editing and audio recording using your Adobe Audition CS6. Again, for some of the video tutorials, basic recording, advanced recording, effects, editing, uh, you can check that out from the list of the videos that we have on our playlist for Adobe Audition CS6. And do subscribe to our channel. Again, my name is Ty. Do visit the website www.newtoboss.com. Thanks for watching.